Hey everyone, it's Nick Reese, and today I wanna to riff a little bit about what it takes to do the unpopular and stand out from the crowd. If you've ever tried to do something that isn't common, that, that goes against the grain of what your friends think is cool, it can be hard, right? You all have that feeling that's like, oh no, oh no, like, what are they gonna think of me? Even I have that. I'm staring into a video camera and it's like looking into a black hole, so I hope you can see me. And it's like, wow, this is uncomfortable, and what are my friends gonna think? Today I wanna to share an important story from my life that really is a defining story and the lessons you can learn from it. We're also gonna talk some psychology, so let's get into it. When I built my first business, I started it in 2006 and I really scaled it when I was living in a fraternity house. I lived in a fraternity house with 32 other guys and the, the typical story is to just drink, go to class and drink, like get, a, get good enough grades so you pass, like you go to school and you, you basically you're there to party. And I was like considered, I was in like the best fraternity and all that stuff and that's great, but um, in reality, like I realized I wanted to do something more. And so when I got my first consulting gig, when I was building my freelancing business, I, I made a decision that I was gonna drink less. And I was gonna drink one day a week instead of five days a week. And I set up a little workstation under my bunk bed. And in my room, it was like 120, 140 square feet. And there was three guys that lived in there. There's three bunk beds. And every night, uh, the two guys would go out and, and just drink, come back hammered. And I would work from 4 p.m until 2 a.m. every single day. And I would just like bang out, bang out client emails, I would do all my work, get it all done, and I would just get made fun of. They called me like the caveman. And I mean, it was rough. It was rough to go from being like one of like the popular guys that went out there and like did everything with everyone to become like the guy that like no one really like hung out with anymore. And like they weren't interested in anything besides me buying drinks when we went out. The reason I tell you this story is I realized that I couldn't keep spending time with these people if I really wanted to grow my business. I had to take it serious. Like these people, I couldn't sit down and talk with them and be like, man, I'm struggling with this client situation. They didn't understand my problems. And so I knew I had to find a peer group. And it really took me from 2006 until 2009 to really find a peer group. And so one of the, one of the big things to cover in this video that I'm gonna talk about is how you can find a peer group online. With social media tools, it's so much easier. Like I really think that's the power of the internet is bringing people together that have like like-minded ideas. Like I was weird back in 2009 when I started hitting people up on Twitter being like, "Let's Skype. Let's talk." And it's like, "I met this dude on the internet." You know what I mean? And today most of those people are some of my best friends. One of my favorite quotes that's that you should live your life by is you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. It's a famous quote by Jim Rohn. And I believe there's almost nothing truer than this quote. There's actually a bunch of psychological experiments that back this up. There's some experiments done known as the Ash conformity experiments. And these experiments would basically have like one guy that's standing on an elevator alone, and then five actors would walk in and face the opposite direction that he was facing. And the video camera would like record him like slowly and uncomfortably, like forcing himself to like turn around and like acting like he's working on a watch and like sipping some coffee and like it's all, it's all fine. Like all these people must know something I don't. And he turns around and doesn't follow what he was doing beforehand. Your life is determined by the people you spend your, your time around because naturally we want to conform with the people we spend time with. So there's really three tips to surround yourself with the right people. The first tip is to surround yourself with a community of people that support you. Now that, I know that that's what I've been talking about this entire video, but that's like the big takeaway. The second is to absolutely delete the energy vampires out of your life even if they're your family members. Like, limit your time with people who are, are gonna tell you that what you're doing is not right. And the third one is to remember everyone's got advice. And my biggest recommendation for this is take advice from people who have done what you want to accomplish. Don't take advice from people who are at the same level as you. If your peer group is standing out from the crowd, it's gonna be much easier to stand out from the crowd. Now, if you're doing something right now that you're standing out from the crowd or you're doing the unpopular, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this video because if you do that, it's, this video is gonna show up for more people that are also doing the uncomfortable. And I'm interested in creating a community that is all about living life on your own terms. Living a life that you knew from the moment you were born that you were meant to live. So if this sort of thing interests you, go to nicholasreese.com and enter your name and email address and I'll send you my best stuff to basically live life on your own terms. We're gonna talk about tools, systems, skills that you can develop to not only stand out from the crowd, but to create a business and life you love.